Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to customize your member account page with the MemberPress account navtabs add-on. First, I'm going to show you what the account page is in MemberPress, and then I'll go over some use case examples to show you why you might want to add new navigation tabs to yours. And finally, I'll show you how with our navtabs add-on. So on your MemberPress website, when people purchase memberships, they choose a username and a password, and then once they sign up, they get an account on your site. And when they log in, they have access to an account page. Here they can view their subscription, payment, and personal information, upgrade their plans if you have it set up for them to do that, view their courses, and more. The member account page is created by MemberPress automatically for your members, and it's your site slash account by default. So here's what my sample member account page looks like. Now keep in mind, throughout this video, I'm going to be using a sample account page automatically styled with ReadyLaunch. ReadyLaunch is our built-in page maker that designs membership-related pages for you. Check out the links in the description for more information about how ReadyLaunch works and what it does if you're not familiar with it. And if you're not using ReadyLaunch, your member's account page will look different depending on your WordPress theme, but it'll all work the same. All the steps in this video will still work for you too. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pages, or tabs, to the account page here. But first, let's take a look at some examples of why you might want to. The most common use case we see here at MemberPress is to give easy access to the content members signed up for. So you could add a page for members to access the content that they paid for, like digital downloads, courses, workshop sessions, or anything else that you're selling. Or you could create a separate WordPress page on your site, make it sort of a content hub and design it any way that you want, and then add the link to the page as an account page navigation tab. And then when a user clicks on it, they're taken right to the page with all their content. Just as a few examples, you could have one tab called member content like this, and then give access to all the members content. Or you could create separate tabs for each type of content like this. So here I have a tab for eBooks and it lists out all the eBooks my members can download. Zoom classes, which has some links to upcoming events, a videos tab, so you can embed videos right on the page. And they have their courses here, which is already set up on the account page by default. Another use case for adding tabs to your member account page could be to host giveaways. You could do monthly giveaways, for example, create a submission form with a form plugin like WP Forms, and then embed the form right on the page. And you can name the tab giveaways or monthly giveaway. And then you could send out emails to your members reminding them to enter and then link them to this tab on their account page. And speaking of forms, another use case is creating a tab with a contact form for a support team or to contact you as a site owner. If people need help with your products or services, or they just want to get something off their chest, they can pop into their account page and fill out your form. Again, you can embed the form right on the page or link to a separate page. It's up to you. Some other use cases could be to link to useful pages like an affiliate dashboard or a forum profile. Or maybe you offer some community features with your membership site, like a private Facebook group, Discord server, Slack channel. You could create a new tab called Community and link to all those channels. Or for example, just link to your Facebook group with a link right to the group's URL itself. Also, say you have some helpful links or resources like outside learning material or websites about your niche. So say if you're running a trail running or hiking membership site, you could link to affiliate websites or blogs with gear recommendations and trail map apps, stuff like that. Or this helpful links section could give members links to different areas on your website too. So say you have hundreds of blog posts on your site, you could give them links to the really useful ones that will enhance their membership experience the most. Or link to a post with all that information in it. So in short, a navigation tab can have content inside of it, it can link to anywhere on your site or anywhere on the internet. So those are a bunch of use cases that can get you started. But if you come up with any creative uses for adding tabs to your member account page, let us know in the comments. Okay, so now let's see how to actually add tabs to your member account page. First, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed, and then you'll need to install the MemberPress NavTabs add-on. So to do that, from your WordPress dashboard, go to MemberPress and add-ons, and then find NavTabs. Then click to install, and activate the add-on. Once the add-on's activated, now when you go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Account tab, now you'll see this section for Account NavTab Settings. So just click here to enable NavTabs. And then you can create a new navigation tab right here, and click here to create more than just one. 
Now, I just went over a bunch of use cases, so I'm just going to set up three quick examples to show you how this works. So, on this first one, here next to title, I'm going to call this ebooks. And then here next to tab type, you can select content, which will let you place the content right on the page. Or you can select URL, which will let you link to a page or post on your site or an outside web page. So for this, I'll make sure that content's selected. And then I'll click here in this field. And then enter some text that I want to show up in the tab. And here you can make text bold, you can add quotes, you can add links to text, make bullet point lists, and align text. And for further, more advanced customization, over here, you can click the text tab and edit the HTML. So you could add some inline CSS styling or HTML tags to further style what's on the page. So for example, I can make this text an H2 header. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then switch back over to visual. And you can see the change. And you can click add media here to insert images and other files. So you can see you can insert audio and video playlists, images, and more. So I'm going to go ahead and choose some ebook images from my media library. And then click to insert those. And you can see it inserts them here. And then I can click on each image and link my ebook files like this. So I'll just do this one just for the example. And then also, real quick before I move on, if you ever want to delete a tab from your member's account page, just click this X icon here. And then be sure to click Update Options to save the change. So that'll remove this tab completely. Okay, so now I'm going to click here to create a second new nav tab. And then this one will be called Giveaways. The tab type will be Content. So you'll see this text here indicating that once you save these settings, this field will turn into a full editor. So I'll go ahead and remove this text. And then I'll go ahead and click Update Options to save what I have so far. Now, since I saved it, you can see that this turned into a normal editor. So I can come in here and make changes and add stuff if I want to. Now I'll click Add Media. And then I'll insert an image that I have in my media library. Just like that. And then underneath this, I'm going to paste the short code for a WP form that I created. So this is going to be the giveaway submission form. And then lastly, just to show you how a URL type of tab works, I'll create a new one. And then I'll call this one Helpful Links. I'll change the tab type to URL. And then right here, I'll paste a URL for a page on my site that I made with links on it. And then right here, you can choose to open this up in a new tab. So I'll select that too. And then now I'll click Update Options to save all my tabs. Once it's saved, now I'm going to open my site up in a new incognito window. So I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So if you're not familiar with it, an incognito window lets you view your site as if you're a brand new visitor. And then I'll go to log in. And then now I'll log in with a test user account that I have set up on my site. And then once that test user is logged in, I'll head to my account page, which I have linked up here. And you can see the new nav tabs here. Here's the ebooks tab, and you can see the ebook images here. So members can just click on them to download the PDF files. And the giveaway, so members can come in here and enter the giveaway. And the helpful links. So when I click on that, you can see it takes me to that page on my site in a new tab. So going back to the account page, one last thing I'll show you. When you click on a tab that's set to content, you can see each has its own unique URL. So you can see my site here and then this part added at the end here. You can use this URL to link to each tab. So say you were emailing your members a reminder to enter your giveaway, for example. Instead of just linking to their account page, you can link them right to this tab. So when they click on the link, they'll wind up right on the giveaway tab. So that makes things really easy for your customers. And that's it. You've now seen how to add pages and links to your member account page using the MemberPress account NavTabs add-on. See our knowledge base for more information on the NavTabs add-on and member account page. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching.
If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.